Second semi-final. We want to determine the opponent of WFZ in the grand final of the Open Qualifier. Both of these players are qualified for the Pro Qualifier next month in April. Chimiko and Fast. Human versus Orc. Winner versus WFZ. Once again, a best of five. Whoever survives this gets at least $150 as prize money. The loser will go home with two points and $75. Stats. Stats don't work. Okay, does in game work? Yes. So, game up. Chamiko in the bottom left on Concealed Hill. Going for Barracks first. This is a Blood Mage. Isn't it? Must be a Blood Mage. Ooh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Or Paladin Rifles, but against Orc, that's so unusual. I'm pretty sure it's a Blood Mage. So, fast. Blade Master or... Farseer? Is the question. He goes for a Barrack, so this should be a Blade. And it is. Kind of obvious to see that. We do see a lot of Farseers here as well for Harass, but Blade Master can go for the crabs a lot and Harass a lot. And if there's an expansion, um, you, you kind of want the Blade Master anyway for whatever. I like him better as well. If you're not too comfortable with the Farseer, just go Blade. And there's no Blacksmith, so it's not going to be Rifleman, but early Footman, like two or three. And then maybe Instant Expo. Quite hard to do. With Banish, a lot easier to do. And then you will see the new upgrade here on the Back to Warcraft overlay. World Premiere. I updated uh, during a live broadcast. Yeah, third farm. Oh, calling Militia already before the hero is out. Wait, it's a tavern build. It's not Blood Mage. It's like, what is this? Fire Lord, Beastmaster? A player's what a bad call attack. by me. But okay, Fire Lord it is. Seeing... Oh my god. Surrounding the Grunt immediately. Uh, almost gets him out. He gets him out, so this one survives. But yeah, he's towering him right away as he sees the fast tech. Fire Lord, of course, super squishy. Uh, but with four armor, that's kind of fine. He needs the lava spawns to split. He needs to attack some units. Whoa, ballsy tower position. Not in front of anything, but just right into it. Fast is trying to counter with Burrows. Of course, you have to keep the pass and save. Uh, it's trying to. Lava spawn won't split. At least not the first one, but he gets the grunt. Can only go for one thanks to the one Burrow. And this Boro is so hurt. Okay, zero Boros mass repair. He's not having income. He can't repair that much longer. One footman goes down. Fire Lord almost dying as well. He also has a lumber mill in the back. When, when did he build that? Power build, maybe. Zero gold. Is he realizing that, that there's zero gold? Okay, now he gets a little more. But this one is not coming up. He has a second Boro right there. Lava spawn might split in a bit. Tower at 50%. Did he get enough hits? Yes! Needs to kill! Ooh, that was as close as it gets. And Shimiko's in a bad position now. Fire Lord low. Lost a few footmen. But towers are about to be up. That helps him a lot. That might win him the game if this tower survives. He can't repair at the moment. Now he does. Late Master has no mana. Hello tower! He surrounds him! Oh no, what a disaster for fast. Blade Master down, second tower up. And that should be game already, right? Fire Lord is safe now, close to level 2. Two towers up, good damage. Level 1 heroes come back super fast, but is it faster than this? He needs more repair. Oh, he blocks the repairing peon. How sweet, Chimiko. 
you little micro monster. Ah, he's finding repair now. But the next footman comes in. Is that the necessary damage? That's the straw that breaks the camel's back. And no blade master anymore. GG. Damn, that was a fast one. And not good for the guy who carries the name. Yeah, sorry for the wrong calls. That was, uh... I haven't seen this Fire Lord push in so long that it just slipped my mind that it's doable. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Sometimes, but you know, that's that's how Back to Warcraft is. That's the charm of Back to Warcraft sometimes. So yeah, that was fast. 4 minutes 50. 104 to Miko. Two more maps for him. And then he's in the final. I was, I guess I saw so many blood mages that I thought it's going to be uh, like three footmen and banish creep expo as the cr camp is kind of hard. But yeah, the option to go for a tavern build just completely slipped my mind at that moment. Worked out fine. Uh, fast wasn't ready at all. One burrow, one grunt. E e even the lava spawns, like, they didn't split, but also the tower position. It was either cancel them or lose. And he held them, so... Good one. <laughs> Good one for him. Once again, if you have some questions... Send it to us, hashtag B2WAMA. Next game is up. Uh. Wait, that's not the right game name. Or am I disconnected or something? Ah, there we go. It's again the admin who seems to have a little uh, trouble with numbers. <laughs> Mistyped it again. Second map is Echo Isles. In a second. Yeah, these Night Elf versus Undead games before were really, really long. And now Tamika is like, I don't want to wait anymore. Whatever. Let's just, let's just finish this quick. So this could be yet another tower push. And it's kind of a weird psychological position. Um, because you don't expect a Fire Lord tower push twice. But maybe that's exactly why you should go for it. Like usually you only play it once in a best of series. To surprise your opponent. But wouldn't it be like... It's either... He plays normally and then could be rushed by a Fire Lord again, or he prepares for this tower push to come and loses time. This is going to be interesting. So this time, Alter immediately. Chimiko goes back to standard. And fast. Blade Master again. Same strategy again. So far, so good. Ultra Burrow Barracks. The normal stuff. Could still be a Farseer, but kind of unlikely. So will this be the Blood Mage now that I called before? Thank you, Senox, for the three-month resub. By the way, the upgrade for the overlay is uh, an extra column for the skill points. I kind of want them more distinguishable still, though. But alright, it's a little improvement, so especially for coils and stuff. Where the background is green and the skill point color is green. That would be nice. 
Blood Mage it is, and Blade Master it is. This should be, on paper, a longer game. As Blood Mage is a 99% indicator for a fast expansion. Also quite a few peasants already. Question is, how fast is he attacking? Uh, with Banish first, you can speed your creeping up or make it more safe. And you can disable the Blade Master so he doesn't do damage. And that's kind of what you need to make this expo work. The additional gold mine at the bottom right. And we see more and more Blood Mage. Infi plays him when he plays human. Sock, of course, legendary game against Moon. Ooh, an anonymous user gifting five subs here. That means we're getting a little closer to the 1000 again. How far out? 982, so 18 more subs. And we crack the four digits once more. Uh, Blood Mage not going for the instant expansion. But with Gloves of Haste, he has fast attack speed anyway. And the Blade Master running over immediately. Zero experience, distracted by the footman. Now the militia come over. Was a little late with that, I think. Tech is at one quarter. A player's forces are under attack. He's pulling out the creeps, gets the Shadow Priest this way to have a little healing as well. So good with Banish and Heal. Gets extra healing from that as well. So Blade Master, can he steal the big one? No, oh, goes in for the... Didn't get the small one, he tried. So he gets one worker, but there should be Banish. Oh, Chimiko, a little slow here. Big experience for the Blade. That is a problem. And the Blade Master is getting a lot of stuff done. Shadow Priest, where is the Banish? Finally. Oh, it's around. No, man, Chimiko. Your first game was so good and now mistakes all over the place. Blade Master is quite low, has no items because he went without a shop, like went a onto the map without a shop. Still three workers, needs two more, gets them here. This delays the tech, of course. It's not the worst thing to lose two workers, but the experience, that hurts now. With Banish, you can always go for surrounds, but then has the stick. And usually Chimiko's surrounds always on point. Yeah, he needs more creeping. Hey Dozo, nice to see you. Old admin legend. Player's forces are Shadow attack. Hunter Lodge. So Shaman. But for what? This will vanish. Let's Fast cast a push for magic damage against buildings and footmen. Like you kind of do with talents in some games. Okay. Well, can he steal this? Can he get the revenge? No, just a tiny bit too late. But we do have Siphon and Banish now. Doesn't use it here. Well, needs to banish again. Otherwise... Man, this Shadow Priest is surviving way longer than he should, actually. This is a new approach by the Orc. Like, Shadow Hunter, okay. O kind of obvious. But what to back up? Thank you, YNK, yo, for the sub. So Shadow Hunter brings some healing. Blade Master will need this after this engagement. Towers are coming up. One arcane, one guard. Also a guard tower in the main to prevent Wyvern. But there are no Wyvern. It's double lodge shaman. This is of course a fast adept upgrade as well. This could be a lot of lightning shield. 
And even though the damage of the Shaman isn't too high, you get a lot of purge. So banish, you can't use it really. And in masses, the Shaman damage add up, especially with Lightning Shield into Peon lines. Needs this tower. He desperately needs this tower and he gets it and he holds it. Not for how much longer. Siphon here again. He's very conservative with his mana. Okay, now the banish to prevent damage. Shaman still on this shit. Ooh, he's supply stack. Especially when you rely on time. Being supply stuck is a crucial mistake. Three shaman queued up in the one lodge. And the other one can't do anything. Okay, now. And the adept upgrade queued as well. Tier 2 take it 50%. This is extremely easy counterable with rifleman. Tries to find an opening to the base. But he will see. Okay, it's kind of protected here. There's a guard tower here. Just waiting for the adept. Which will take some time. Thank you, Chaco, for the host. This is a slow upgrade for sure. So one farm down. Chimiko is supply stuck as well. Can't go for rifles if the blacksmith is finished. But you know, he went for a berserker. Also nice against the shaman. Can he protect these shamans is the question. Of course, as I said, Banish kind of useless. We're gonna have Lightning Shield soon, and if these workers are all piled up like this, Tamika might be in problems. There is mana. Oh, so many kills. Jesus. A very new approach by Fast, and it works out well thus far. We do have Triple Troll. Uh oh, slows down the Blood Mage with... Yeah, and this Banish can just be perched. This doesn't work. Can't protect himself. Can't disable the blade. Okay, this Purge doesn't go through. Blade Master quite low. Has no mana for Windwalk, but the shop is up for heal cells. And now you see the magic damage Town piling up. Siege. Farms rebuild. And even a workshop. Okay. We're going more of us then. Archmage second. I mean, it's still mass perch. Blizzard then. Ah, okay, for 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 the brilliance and blizzard, it's nice. Next it's up. Must be blizzard, right? Oh, he's getting perma perched and a nice movement by this blade master. Oh, that was sweet. Banish saves him for now. Damages a lot of the background, but okay, three and two now. Moth is coming as well. He has the right answers, but that lightning shield, ooh. He's only attacking one peasant for now, but this economy will be crippled in a bit. No mana on the Shadow Hunter anymore. No dispel, of course. How long can he survive once this Mortar team is out? Blood Mage per, uh, surrounded as well as double potion, and now the lightning shield on the blade. Oh shit, this is so much damage, but the Blade Master falls. And in the back, all the shaman are getting wrecked! GG. Didn't have the time. Damn, weird games here in this semi-final. Weird, weird games in this semi-final. First the Fire Lord push, then a mass shaman play. Shaman play. But you can't... Forget a borough here. If there are a few more shaman, maybe. But the reaction of Chimiko was nice. Archmage Blizzard, not even rifled because he was supply stuck a little. Archmage Blizzard, mortar teams, towers there, hide behind your base. And once the expansion is up, it doesn't really matter if you lose units in your main. Um, of course, they feed a little. But yeah, the heroes weren't too overwhelming. 2-0 for Chimiko. Two very decisive games here so far. Or two series, actually. 
We have yet another sub, or two subs actually. Uh, thank you, Cyrox, for the 13 month resub. Whoop, 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 you too. And Gickoff with 22 months already. So, pocket strats from both players. One was successful, that was for Chimiko. One didn't do too much. I think the upgrade was a little late. Uh, the Adapt Upgrade for Shamans takes forever, and then it kind of messes with the timings, I think. I did like the Perch approach. And it was quite effective for a while. Yeah, both players a little lackluster here in this game, that's for sure. Ooh, last refuge again. Another Fire Lord map, maybe? Wait, the game started? The fuck? They opened it 20 seconds ago. Yeah, of course, Flamestrike would have been really nice, but this, just to reskill on level 2 for Flamestrike. Not the right idea. Not worth the money. Hey, Turbozao, nice to see you. So I guess they started it. It's Chimiko in a game. Yeah, okay. So we have to wait for Natty's watch to make this work. This was... Yeah, super quick. Weird games, I love it. Yeah, today, man, this is not a day for remote. <laughs> he would he would be criticizing the players all over the place. But I do enjoy these weird wan uh, wonky games, for sure. That was something. Yes, indeed it was. So, again, if you would like to ask us some questions, let us know and use the hashtag B2WAMA. I have my Twitter open all the time because we're still operating on that three minute delay. Banish can't be purged? Are you sure? Why not? What's what's the mechanic that prevents The Purge on Banish. Do you guys know? By the way, nice to see 2,000 people here. You look awesome today. Oh, thank you. I need to go to the hairdresser again. But yeah, kind of good hair day today, right? And no one will see it. Well, except 2,000 people on the internet. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Is the final today? Yes. Tomorrow is the pro final. All right, so third game on the way. That took some time. I apologize for that. Also for this, there we go. 
Wait, what? Opened in a wrong window. Uh, there we go. Wait, this looks super weird. What the hell is this? Ah, now it's better. Yeah, production issues here. Last refuge. Match points for Chimiko. Three of them. So, fast. Will you go for the Blade Master again? Or is it faster time now? Blade Master again. Our last refuge. Super understandable. And for the first time in this series, kind of weird, we have an Archmage. So the normal thing to do. On last refuge, you can rush. So if he's super confident that he's the better player and can out micro him, uh, he could go for the push. Um, especially Sock loves this with the sometimes even level one Archmage rushes into the base. Fast plays it all a little safer here with barracks and shop. No double burrow, but that would be kind of 2004 or something. Jenny Prenzelberg, aka Mr. Love, for the 30 month resub. Neo, my man, I'm so hungover. I really need a Fire Lord Tower push right now to lighten up my spirit. 30 months of being hungover, watching your amazing broadcast. Keep it up and see you in a Player week, four, less than three. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that, man. It's been some time since we met, and it's about time we see each other again. At the MTW Legendary Cup in Berlin, of course, April 6th and 7th. You can go there as well. Public uh, screening at the Horus Cafe and Restaurant. And Lito has subscribed as well. Thank you. So, normal creep routes this far. Claws for Chimiko. Mantle of Intelligence. Whoa, dream drops. Plus nine damage. <laughs> And the aura, late master's trying to interfere. But I think he's a little too late. He can get the water elementals for experience. Ah, oh, Tamiko de denies even that. Tamiko will also be at the MTW event. A player's forces are under as the third Korean. Thank you, Rumpel Paul, for the three month reset. That nickname always puts a smile on my face. So Burrows now. Could be a good timing to push it. Yeah, and of course, Banish can be purged. I was super surprised by that chat statement. Archmage is hiding from this blade. What the fuck? Doesn't really work, though. Tech on the way. Of course, the Orc is faster, as he always is. Footman coming in. Does he have a... What's he doing? How is the Blade Master seeing this? I saw the militia movement, but I think. Oh, this is. This is bad for Chimiko. This is not working at all if a Blade Master is around. Nice little scout. Uh, nice little creep route that didn't work at all. He loses one passing for it. Archmage did get boots. And Footman took out this camp. Could go into the base very soon. It was about to be done, and then production buildings coming. Jimiko's stealing a lot of experience on the map already. Great master, though. Nah, going for the troll. He, he, he got the dust as well, being jacked there once. Doesn't want this to happen again. Great master, watch what he can Lots of scouting information for fast if he uses them. Really curious what second hero he picks. Level 3 Archmage. Oh, it's the perfect time to go into the base. Are under attack. Ah, what? Sorry. Fast. So here we go. Beast 3 Totem. Normal build. Kind of a slow build. We have one water elemental. This Beast 3 
is in shambles. Archmage should not get surrounded here. Has another water mental. Will summon it in a second. Needs the deeps from the Archmage though. Gets it. Not willing to commit too much. Ah, okay. The Shadowhunter is coming for Hex. Good timing for Chimiko to retreat. Oh, Beastmaster second. Oh my god. Fast, you poor fool. Didn't see this coming. Can he get this 700 HP? Hex here, but no Blade Master's damage. He needs it on the Beastmaster. Yeah, this is easily enough. Both production buildings cancelled. Beastmaster is low. Will most likely fall. But if he summons another Quill Beast, that's fine. And did his job. He's killing the Boro again. Too much damage. Oh, boy. Fast is getting wrecked again. He got the Beastmaster kill, but the Archmage is still in a great position. He has another Water Elemental. He wrecks the Beast Tree again. Mass summons. Oldest trick in the book for Chimiko. No. <laughs> he loses the second borrow as well. Oh, shit. To be honest, he can't just tap out right here. Chimiko has double sanctum. Beastmaster is back. Could need a little healing, but priests are there. He needs a book of the dead. Doesn't get it. This is unwinnable. Hero focus is the only chance fast has. We're eight minutes in and the beast we just started. This is too much. Okay. Second coming with militia this time. Thank you, Roki2601. Oh, th the nickname is pronounced like smoke, but with an R. Okay, Roke, thank you very much. <laughs> I fucked that up a little. Should have read this before. But okay. This is a classic tower push with two summoning heroes. Preparation was done. Headhunters are coming to against the towers, but... Again, he sets them up right against the trees. Sorks are there as well. And the Blade Master has no mana, just the potion and the arm. This needs to be a hero focus now. Does he even. Uh, he does have the mana for Hex, but Chimiko's movement was good. Slow was applied. Speed scroll against it. Uh, surround fails as well. And in the meantime, this is so much time for the towers. It's just five swords. For crowd control, here we see them almost up. And the magic damage is enough. Yeah, GG. Chimiko 3 owes his opponent there, just as WFZ did with uh, Joshi Shi. Fast. Still gets two points, still gets 75 bucks, but Chimiko and WFZ, the better players, that's for sure. And yeah, that's our grand final. Chimiko versus WFZ in yet another best of five for $300 and four points. So this is going to be an interesting human versus undead, a matchup that we don't see too much. So stay tuned, send me some questions, hashtag B2WAMA on Twitter. And then we'll be right back with the March Open Qualifier Grand Final.